everybody. Craig Hester here with R2AWatches.com and the Detente Watch Group. And we are doing our first ever Facebook Live show. So I'm going to say before we even get started that we are likely to screw up a whole bunch during this whole thing. And uh, hey, that's what live is all about. Um, so we tried to set up a little, like make it a little bit more interesting. We have some, you know, props here. Uh, by the way, just because most everything here is related to aviation doesn't mean we only have aviation watches. I think you guys know that most of our brands also have great dive watches, including Vostok Europe. By the way, what I am wearing is a sweatshirt, a hoodie that's going to be associated with our new watch from Pramzius uh, in coming in 2018 the Berlin Wall watch. And if you haven't learned anything about that, you should go to, uh, you should look on the page, r2awatches.com uh, on Facebook. Or, and, and there's some information about that watch coming out in 2018. Uh, I'm not going to belabor that point here because we've got about 80 watches to go through. Um, and since we have so many watches, I'm not going to make this introduction any longer than it needs to be. What we are talking about here today are new old stock watches, which means that these are watches that um, are new in terms of they, they are everything about them is new, but it's old stock, meaning that they're not they weren't just built recently. Um, and because of that, then you're going to get a chance to own some watches that really a lot of these are not available anywhere anymore. And you need to understand that there's only one of most of these. There's a couple of these we had two, but pretty much if you don't grab it, it's going to be gone. And then you may never be able to get this watch again, except maybe on the secondary market. Um, and then we've got samples and samples means um, that they were used uh, either for something like this or they were used in stores in, in, a, in a display um, or we used them when we do uh, when we've done things on television and they're going to have minor, minor imperfections um, and they're priced to move uh, with, with the uh, understanding of what those imperfections are. On top of the great prices that are already on r2awatches.com, that's r, the number two, awatches.com, um, we're also offering an additional 10% off. If you use the coupon code SAM10, that will work on the samples. And if you use the coupon code NOS10, that will work on the new old stock. So without, and yes, I guess I should acknowledge that I am wearing the aviator cap from the World War II era style. And yes, I know I look like an idiot, but hey, anything for the cause. So without any further ado, we're going to get into our first watch, which is an aviator. And we're going to try to go through these as quickly as possible. So, and I'm going to take this thing off now. All right. This watch, aviator. Um, this is back when aviator was a was still a Russian brand. And this has a Russian movement in it that was previously made by the Pole Yacht Company. Um, I'm not gonna do a lot of history lessons here, guys, because we gotta push through this stuff fast. Uh, this is a 45 millimeter timepiece. It has the 3105, which is based off the 31 caliber movement that used to be made by Pole Yacht. You cannot get this movement new anymore. It doesn't, uh, it, it's, it's not available uh, on the market anymore. So this is your chance to get, it's, it's immediately collectible. Um, because of the fact that the movement is no longer made. Okay, but it's still covered by our two-year warranty. By the way, there's something important to point out. On the new old stocks and the samples, uh, returns are for store credit only. Um, so this is a 45 millimeter timepiece. It has the 3105 movement in it. Um, it has a, an extra designation. I can't remember what it is, an A or a B or something. And that's because it has a day-night indicator on it. Okay, so aviator, from Russia, when it was still a Russian brand, 45 millimeter, surgical grade stainless steel. This is a manual wind watch, okay? So that's important to note as well. Uh, manual wind aviator. So let's move on. And by the way, guys, th some of these things may already be sold out before we even went live. We um, didn't have a chance to check everything and, 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 and mark everything. We're just going through all the watches that are in the vault. Um, so if there's something already sold out before you get to it, uh, you know, this is a first come first serve and, and they're going to, you know, I, well, we think they're going to go fast. So the next one is a Moscow classic and that is the Moscow classic big diver. Now it's not the huge one. That's like 72 millimeters. I think this one's 52, 50. It's a 50. Um, this is, uh, got the Vostok movement in it. Um, let me see. Hold on. Hand me that one. I'm going to look at it real quick and then you can have it back. 
Uh, yeah, this has got the 2416 automatic Vostok movement in it. Okay. Um, this was made by Moscow Classic. Moscow Classic doesn't exist anymore. They uh, actually have changed their brand name. They're now Polyot Time, a new brand that we actually have dabbled in doing some of the stuff with their watches. But this is an opportunity to own one with the Vostok movement. It has the uh, the screw, the, the crown cap, and, and the classic Russian diver configuration. Uh, it comes on uh, the silicone strap, and I believe this one there's only one in stock, so you want to grab that. Now that's, so that's the second new old stock. Now, on to number three. For those of you who have wanted to grab one of these, these are no longer hardly anywhere anymore. This is the Soprod. Vostok Europe, we do not even have remotely enough time to go through all the functions in this watch. It is the multifunction Soprod movement uh, Vostok Europe with the stand-up tritium tubes. I believe we only have one available. So if you have been wanting to have one of those, uh, now is your chance to get it, and this is probably going to be one of your last chances ever. It is a 48 millimeter watch. It does have the tritium tube technology and the stand-up tubes with the candle holders so that it uh, gives you 360 degree illumination and it has the multi-function Soprod movement. There's a chronograph on there, there's a calendar, there's a perpetual calendar, there's a countdown of days, a countdown of hours. It's just a ton of functions on this. So clean cut, move down, we're gonna go to the next one. So here we have, oh, does that have a number on it? I forget the movement number on this watch. This is another aviator. And guys, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't remember the movement number on this. That's how long it's been since this one was produced. Uh, it has a couple of interesting functions. This is a little smaller watch. Uh, I believe that one is a 42 millimeter. Um, the, all the specs will be on the website, r2awatches.com, to give you more information about it. Let me look and see. I just want to see what the complications are. Okay, so we've got a 24 hour on this. We've got a calendar and we have the days of the week and the days of the week by the way are done in the cyrillic so the, they're they're, uh, they're starting with the two first letters of the cyrillic al alphabet on the days of the week again i apologize for not remembering the movement number it's been a while since this watch was made um it's a it's two something anyway uh, it is a russian movement in this another one that's no longer made so if you are looking for the true russian movements and for something that is no longer made it's instantly collectible this is going to fit that bill as well. Next. Okay, this is another Moscow Classic. This um, has the 3133 uh, pull yacht movement in it. Again, no longer made. Um, this is kind of a more of a classic uh, dressy style with the way it has the closed lugs um, and the where the connects to the case in the, in that closed lug configuration. Um, so you have to have, you have to put the strap on in a particular way. There's a particularly special made strap for this that actually bends around the lug because it doesn't have the spring bars like most lugs do. It has a nice exhibition case back on this where you can actually see the movement. Again, these movements are no longer made. Um, so if you're wanting to grab a 31 caliber, which is not easy to get these days, um, at a great price, this is one to grab. It is a full functioning, bleh, told you we were gonna have some screw ups. It is a full functioning mechanical manual wind chronograph on this from the 31, it's 3133. So it is the Polyot 31 caliber watch. Surgical grade stainless steel. I believe this one's about a 44, something in that neighborhood. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There were so many watches here that we have on these specials today that we did not have time to go through and really study each watch. So some of these, I just mostly wanted to let you see them. I'm going to give giving you some quick information, um, but I don't have a cheat sheet in front of me about every watch. Again, if you go to r2awatches.com, you'll find all the details about each watch. Again, this is new old stock and let's move on. Okay, this is a Buran. Uh, the Buran brand is also Swiss now. This is back when Buran was, um, was still a Russian brand. And this one, uh, let me see it. This one has, yeah, I thought so. 
This has got the 3105 in it. Uh, again, movement no longer made. Um, it is a stunning example from Buran. Buran being a snow, meaning snowstorm in Russian, which was the Russian space shuttle. Um, and this one is all in the Cyrillic. It's the 3105 uh, manual wine mechanical movement uh, that was originally built by Polyot. Uh, it's a stripped down version of the 3133 chronograph, which gives you that sub dial configuration. Some nice decoration on the movement with an exhibition case back on, on this one as well. Next. Okay, this is a Voltalaz from Moscow Classic as well. This is also a 31 caliber. You're going to see a lot in the new old stock today are 31 caliber watches. Um, and again, it's a chance to get them, and they're not easy to get anymore. This is actually the 31681, which gives you the additional third eye on the tri-complex, which is a 24-hour indicator. Um, this is, again, I'm repeating myself, but it is the Polyot movement that was made uh, in, by Polyot, later by Mac Time. Uh, it is no longer available on the market. The movement isn't, so this is a chance. It's immediately collectible. This is Moscow Classic. Again, Moscow Classic isn't around anymore, so you've got a name brand that doesn't exist anymore. You've got a movement that isn't made anymore, so you've got a lot of cool stuff to grab onto uh, with this particular new old stock here. It's got a great onion crown on it, um, and this is just a really cool looking uh, kind of a cushion case on the style, um, so grab that one. Next. Okay, this is a Nesterov. Uh, this is a brand we dealt with briefly. Um, they, this is their, oh, which one is it? Let me see it. Oh, I don't remember which plane this is. But all of their watches were, were named after a plane. Um, this is a quartz movement on this one. Um, it has uh, uh, the, the screw-in crown protector. Um, it's a really cool look on this one. If you're looking for a bargain, okay, uh, in the new old stock uh, category, this is absolutely a great bargain for you. Because um, I would say this is probably one of the least expensive watches in the new old stock category. Don't forget, there are two coupon codes. Oh, I forgot. Dang it. There's also a deal with talkaboutwatches.com, okay? Talkaboutwatches.com. Um, and... I really wish I had said that earlier. Um, they are also presenting these watches, and they're going to have their own deal uh, through their site. Um, if you go to talkaboutwatches.com page on Facebook, or if you go to talkaboutwatches.com, um, sign up for their newsletter. They're going to be sending information out about this sale as well. Um, so this is the Nesterov with the lockover crown from their aviation collection. Um, really just a really cool looking dial. One of the things I do like about this one, if we can show the side, is that the, the other way, that the, um, the, the uh, limited edition number is engraved on there, which is really cool. That, that actually adds value. So next. Okay. This is the Ocean 3133 chronograph that, from Stramansky. If you wanted to get one of these, anybody who knows what this watch is, they know that they are very difficult to come by now. Um, it is, it is a, a highly collectible watch. It is one of the most sought-after watches uh, from what was originally Polyot and now was produced under the Stramansky name. Um, so I think for the collectors, you know what this is. This is a don't-miss-it opportunity to put one of these in your collection with the 31 caliber movement. Um, the Ocean is uh, again Stramansky, known for being the first watch in space on the wrist of Yuri Gagarin, was also known for uh, doing a great deal of uh, for making dive watches and, and producing watches that were related to uh, naval activity and uh, and so forth. So that's what the ocean is all about. Okay, next, I am going to lose my voice before this is over. This is the Strella. Uh, let me hold on. How many eyes are on that one? Yeah, it's two. I figured with the Strella, it should only be a bi complex. Okay, this is the Strella, another one of the most famed watches uh, from uh, uh, Russian horolo horological history. The Strella was the watch that uh, Alexei Leonov wore on his uh, first spacewalk. Strella means arrow in Russian. Um, and this one is got one of the early dial configurations. Again, this is commemorative. I want to make sure it's clear when I say this is new old stock. This isn't one of the original Strellas 
uh, from the from the 70s. This is a, uh, a a reproduction, but it is new old stock for us because um, uh, you know this is one that uh, we pulled out of the vault and we hadn't had for a while. Um, so this is a smaller watch. It's a 42 millimeter. It does have the 31 caliber. It's got an exhibition case back. Um, so for those of you who know what this is, we've got several Strellas in the new old stock. So uh, for those of you who know know what these are, you want to grab them and grab them quick. And next. And I am going to have to take a drink of water. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, I'm going to say yet again, because I didn't say it enough earlier before we show the next watch. R2AWatches.com is where you can get these watches. You want to go under the new old stock category or the sample imperfect category. There are two coupon codes. There is the SAM10 coupon code and there is the NOS10 coupon code. If you are a watch, uh, a, 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 a fan of Talk About Watches and you go to Talk About Watches on a regular basis and you've been buying from them and we have been putting watches on their program as well, it's the same code. It's just uh, SAM10TAW or it is um, NOS10TAW. Okay, it's the same code. Uh, if you want to uh, purchase it through 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 talk about watches and they're going to be sending information out about this as well so those that's important to know uh, and uh, we want to thank talk about watches for being a partner in this and apologize yet again for not saying this right at the at the beginning um, I will actually when uh, we've got people answering questions by the way you can ask questions we do have people I, I'm obviously not going to be able to do it um, but we do have people that can answer questions while this is live, uh, and I'm going to have somebody put on there the information about Talk About Watches as well. Okay, now the next watch. This is one of the must-haves from this entire show. Um, I it may not even it probably it may already be sold out. You know, by, by the time we're getting to it here, and like I said, I, we have no way of knowing that, so we apologize if we're showing watches that have already sold out. This is the 50th anniversary edition chronograph from Stermansky that um, was produced oh, seven or eight years ago. Um, by the way, I'm going to stop. Are we doing okay? Is it, is it looking good and everything? Okay. I'm just uh, I'm checking with the folks that are helping me here to see that everything is looking okay and that uh, we don't look like as uh, amateurish as I'm sure we probably look. But anyway, um, we're, we're going to try to do some Facebook, more Facebook Live things like this, and hopefully we'll get better at it as time goes by. Anyway, this is the Gagarin Commemorative Chronograph. You cannot find these anywhere anymore. I can tell you that for sure because we had a hard time even finding pictures of it because this is not out there on the market anymore. This is true new old stock. The strap has not been cut. Um, it does have the 31 caliber movement in it. It has that great enameled earth on the dial. Uh, it's got the etching of Gagarin on the back. Um, this is a, you know, whoever gets this one, congratulations. I actually covet this myself. I really wanted to keep this one, but you know, I decided to go ahead and put it into into the sale because we wanted to have as exciting a stuff as we could uh, in this new old stock sale. So, moving on, and again, all these details and things that uh, the poor memory of the old man here is not remembering as we're talking about these. All the details are at r2awatches.com, um, and you can find out more there about the individual watches. Okay, next is another. Moscow Classic, and I need to see which movement is in this one. It's a 3602. Wow, guys, this is a rare opportunity. The 3602, which is the Molnia Pocket Watch movement, which is no longer made as well. A lot, Almost all of these new old stock watches that we have here tonight have movements in them that are no longer made. The Molnia Pocket Watch Company, Molnia means lightning in Russian. The Molnia Pocket Watch Company um, uh, went out of business, oh goodness, 2006, 2007. Um, uh, these are new old stock movements that were bought up by Moscow Classic. Uh, they bought the last of their movements. Maybe there's a few more out there. but um, So if you want a truly collectible watch and you want a truly collectible movement, this one from Moscow Classic is a great one to grab. Again, more details at r2awatches.com. So next... Uh, okay, this is the Aero Navigator from uh, Moscow Classic as well. Let me see which movement it is. 
Uh, this has got, I think, yeah, I thought so. This is the 2612, which is a, a Vostok movement. Um, so it is an automatic uh, mechanical in this watch. This is the Aero Navigator, which is their, uh, was, was Moscow Classic's main aviation line of watches. Um, this has uh, got the yellow gold plating on it. Um, and again, oh, is this, oh, wait a minute. Is this the alarm? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. This is the alarm movement. That's actually a pull yacht movement. Okay, forgive me, guys. This has the mechanical alarm. Uh, it's, this is actually was the original pull yacht uh, alarm movement. This isn't a Vostok movement in there. I told you I was going to have goof ups throughout this. So that's the alarm. I was actually wondering what the second crown was for that one. Um, yeah, the 2612 was the original pull yacht alarm movement. And let's see if we can make, let's, let me try and get the alarm to go off. Um, it's really cool if I can get that. For those of you who are willing to wait with me for a minute while we do this, set this up. Um, these are also super, super rare now. God, I can't believe all the cool stuff we have in this. Okay, where's the alarm? Now, let me see if I can get it to go off. I'm going to do all this and watch the thing not go off. Oh, I went past it. Oh, there we go. So what's really cool about the, 26, uh, the, the 2612 alarm movement is it actually has a physical hammer that's in the, uh, that's in the movement that's banging against this piece of metal. A lot of times, you know, especially today with quartz uh, movements, and even with some of the old, uh, some of the mechanical alarms, they're really kind of quiet. The nice thing about the one on this one is that hammer banging against the metal in there, it is loud. You are not going to miss when this alarm goes off. That's for sure. So that's the Aero Navigator from Moscow Classic. Moving on. This, oh goodness, what's the movement in this? Yeah, I don't know. All right, that's a really cool Tano Baron. Moving on. <laughs> I can't remember the number of those of the, of the movements. It's it's a has been a movement. It's a movement we haven't used in so long. By the way, for those of you who are uh, real aficionados of Russian movements, if I'm getting something wrong on here or I'm not remembering one, and you know what's on there, please go ahead and put it in the comments. Um, so the next watch is another Strela. We talked about Strela earlier, uh, worn by Alexei Leonov when he took the first uh, extravehicular activity uh, uh, ever of a human. Uh, he wore a Strela, which means arrow in Russian. This is a commemorative edition. This is the black dial. Uh, this has the paddle hands, which I really like the paddle hands on this one. Um, and it's got uh, the 31 caliber movement in it as well. Uh, 3133, made by originally by the Poyot Company, uh, which is now uh, defunct. So this is immediately collectible. Courtney, why not, can you go look? Um, I'm going to keep talking about this one. Can you go look and see what the movement is on that Baran that I just gave back to you, the Tano one? Sure. And then we, then I can tell everybody what that is. So I can, I'll know because it's this, two six six nine. Yes, I knew it was two six something. Two six six nine. Okay, that's another Poyot movement that's no longer made. So the 2669, yes, um, thank you. And that aviator that we were talking about earlier that had the, uh, the, the date and the day, that was the same movement on that one. Um, the 2669, I, can't, I think it's been oh, eight years since we had a watch with a, with, a, with a 2669. So there you go. All right, now back to the Strela. Um, Again, expedi expedition. <laughs> Exhibition, I'm going to be literally by the time this is done. Expedition, uh, exhibition case back, 42 millimeter on this one um, from the Strela collection, one to grab and grab quickly. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next one. This is another 3105, and I'll put my hat back on in honor of this one. This is another 3105 aviator from when Aviator uh, was still a Russian company. They are now a Swiss company. 
This has that really, really cool orange dial on it. This has the 3105. Uh, it's got an extra designation on it. It's an A or a B or something like that. And the, the, that extra, extra de uh, designation on there means that this particular movement of the 3105 has been, uh, has been slightly altered to add the complication of a day-night indicator on this watch. Um, so let me see. It's got, yeah, it's got your uh, sub-dial second hand. And then I don't know if we're going to be able to show this. If you maybe you can, you can show how the day night indicator moves if you move the crown around. Um, there you go. So you can see the day night indicator moving in the window. Um, so that was an extra complication. Let me see too. I should have it on here with the yes, thirty one oh five dot oh three. Okay. Uh, so it wasn't a number, I mean, it wasn't a letter designation, it was a number designation. The 03 on that means that this one was, uh, at, they added the additional complication of the day night indicator. 45 millimeter watch, when those first came out, 45 millimeter was a big watch, it's not anymore. Um, Aviator of Russia with, again, the movement that's no longer made from Polyon. Okay, next. Okay, this is from the original Gagarin line. Gagarin, uh, Yuri Gagarin, the first uh, human in space, was wearing a Sturmansky at the time. A very simple three-hand watch. I believe we actually have one of those. And that's another one you don't want to miss out on because those are not available anymore. And I'm going to take this back off. Um, so Yuri Gagarin in the Bostock one. This is from the Gagarin commemorative collection from many years ago. It has the 31 caliber movement. Again, this is new old stock, so you understand that it, you know, we have tested all these watches thoroughly. We actually tested every watch for four days running to make sure that everything was running well um, and that um, they were keeping time and had a great power reserve and so forth. And they are covered by our two-year warranty. And I'm going to take this moment to say yet again, r2awatches.com is where you're going to find more information about these and where you can pick up these watches. The coupon codes are S. AM10 or SAM10TAW if you are wanting to support talk about watches in this uh, that is for samples and then new old stock is NOS10 or NOS10TAW if you want to support talk about watches who is our partner in this program here today uh, and you can get more details now we'll go back to the Gagarin here real quick because this is a hot item you don't want to miss this we only have one if anybody cares, I have this particular watch in my personal collection, and I love it. It is one of my favorite Stramanskis ever. So now we will move on to the next one. And I think we're going to be here for quite a while. <laughs> so this is the Gagarin 50th Anniversary Edition that is actually the commemorative edition of the original Gagarin watch. I can tell you guys that these are not easy to come by now. We haven't had one in stock in forever. Um, Again, Yuri Gagarin, first human in space. The watch that he wore was a Stramansky. Stramansky is the unbroken line to this watch today. Uh, it has the original logos on the dial. It has uh, the etching on the back uh, celebrating the 50th anniversary. Again, this is one not to pass up. I can't imagine us ever having another one of these in stock. So uh, do not miss that. Next. Okay. Not that often we're going to have a new old stock from Vostok Europe, given that Vostok Europe is, a, you know, they've been around 14 years now. Um, but this is one of the original Caspian Sea Monsters. The new Caspian Sea Monsters are out now. Um, but if you want one of the original Caspian Sea Monsters with the Vostok 32 Joule uh, movement, that, then that's Vostok of Chistable Russia, not to be confused with Vostok Europe. They are two different companies. Uh, the movement in this was made by Vostok. The watch is built by Vostok Europe. It has the tritium tube technology. It has three complications. It has a date, and a date is considered a complication on a mechanical watch. It has a 24-hour indicator and a day-night indicator. So if you are a fan of the original Caspian Sea Monsters and you want to grab one of the last chances to ever have one, this is one of the few Vostok Europe's. Well, I guess we have one more at least. Uh, and are we in the samples now? Oh, we're still doing we're still doing new old stock. So this is not many Vostok Europe's in the new new old stock. Okay, next another Vostok. Europe. So this is a chronograph. This watch is actually still made, but it was one we pulled out of the vault. I guess we had it, and I didn't realize that uh, we had it as 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 long as we had had it. 
Um, so this is a chronograph uh, from the Expedition North Pole collection. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one um, because it is uh, a relatively newer one, but you can get a good deal on it today through the new on stock sale. And next. What is that? That's new old stock? Nah, let's move on. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna vamp for a minute while we move on to the figure out the next watch we're gonna move on to. So again, r2awatches.com. This is our first Facebook Live, and this is what happens when you do live uh, whatever. Um, I've done live television for many years, um, but uh, they usually are a little better organized than I am in doing this, um, and that's fine. So we're gonna we're finding the next watch, but again. Are we going to move on to the sample? We're going to move on to the samples. It's time to move on to the samples. Okay, samples. What do I mean by that? Sample, demo model, imperfect. Um, that means that they're going to, they may have a minor scratch, a little bit of scuffing. They're going to be very, um, it's going to be very minor. I mean, we're talking it's almost, <laughs> almost, almost to the point that you, you may not even be able to tell when you get the watch. Um, so, but, they were either used on the air, they were used in something like this, uh, they may have been at a re in a retailer's uh, case and people handled it. So they're a little bit imperfect, but because of that, we have lowered the prices and you've got an additional 10% off. And again, that is SAM10 or SAM10TAW if you are wanting to support, uh, talk about watches in this, our partner. Okay, so the first sample we're going to show is a an expedition uh, North Pole. This is from the 2016 or 2015 collection that was done with the 32 Jewel Vostok movement. Again, Vostok of Chistopol, Russia, not to be confused with Vostok Europe. Um, these again are have become increasingly rare. Uh, that we do not have many of these. Um, anymore. I don't think we have any new in our stock of this. So the only chance to get this brown dial on here is, let me see it for a second, is the, uh, is through the sample sale. I'm just looking. Okay. There is, I, I could, we could try to show you, but you're, it's probably not going to show up, but right on the top of the lug there, um, is the slightest little scuffing. Okay. This is something you would do in the first two days you own the watch, okay? Um, and, and if you can't see it there, that shows you how minor it is. But again, that is what the situation is with almost all of these samples and imperfects. There's the slightest little bit of scuffing um, or something along those lines that makes them imperfect. The strap may have a little bit of wear. Um, again, you know, most of these were actually used as examples for uh, when we were doing some other shows similar to this. So that's the first one. And again, all the details are at r2awatches.com. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, this is the brown dial bronze Almaz from Vostok Europe. Almaz meaning diamond in Russian, which was their uh, first, well, one of their first space stations. In fact, parts of the Almaz uh, technology and the original Almaz are actually used in the International Space Station. Anyway, this is a 48 millimeter watch. This is true marine grade bronze on this one. Um, let's see if we can see where the imperfect. I'm not going to necessarily do this with every watch, guys. I'm just looking for uh, where the imperfection is on this one. And it looks like there's just a little bit, yeah, just a little bit up there. You, can't, you would never even be able to see it in the. Yeah, there it is. There's just a little bit of scuffing right beside the crown. It's very minor, particularly with bronze, because it's got a patina. You're never going to notice that. Once the patina sets in, that's going to go away. Um, so we're, we're going to just keep we're going to just keep moving. Yeah, we're going to be here all night. Okay, this is the Stingray from Stermansky. This is, I love this watch. It is an amazing timepiece. It's got an automatic movement, the NH35. Uh, it is a true dive watch. It's 300 meter. Um, again, this is in the sample and um, uh, imperfect uh, section on r2awatches.com. Uh, I'm not. We're not going to try to point out what the little imperfections are on every one of them, but you get to see the watches here, and you can see just how excellent a shape they're in, and that what we are talking about is very minor, and the pricing reflects that. And if you want to take an additional 10% off, it is. Uh, SAM10 is your coupon code, 
and you can be sure to hit apply when you're on uh, r2awatches.com or it won't it won't uh, change the pricing or it is sam10taw uh, if you want to support talkaboutwatches.com and next this is one of the most popular Expedition North Poles ever, the orange dial, 48 millimeter from the Expedition North Pole collection, uh, grade A black PVD, NH35 movement, dual tang buckle on that fa fantastic multi-level strap, that bright orange striking dial. If you've been looking at this one and you want to get it at a good price on the Sample Imperfect, grab it. And next. This is the gas limo. I think you've got it upside down. Yeah. This is a gas limo. Um, for a little while, we did these on the um, mesh bracelet, which is actually the bracelet that was built for the Almaz. Um, so this is a sample that, came, that we had on the mesh bracelet. This has the Vostok movement. This is a dual time watch uh, with an internal rotating bezel for the secondary time zone. This comes from the Gas Limo collection. This is a little bit smaller for Vostok Europe. It is a 43 millimeter, and this, and at this point, the Gas Limo is the only dress line from Vostok Europe. Next, okay. This is another Expedition North Pole, the bright yellow uh, combination, and it is with a matte uh, sandblasted uh, surgical grade stainless steel case that is not titanium. I just want to be clear. It kind of looks like titanium, but. In this particular case, it is surgical grade stainless steel, 48 millimeter, 200 meter water resistant uh, from the uh, Expedition North Pole collection. So at 200 meters, that does make it a true professional dive quality watch, which most of the Vostok Europe collection is. And next, another um, Expedition North Pole. This one is titanium. Uh, this has the, uh, uh, the 6S chronograph, uh, I believe it's the 6S11 in this one, uh, from Miyota. Uh, that is a, that is actually a, even though it's quartz, it has mechanical moving parts and has jewels. Um, so it is a very high end quartz on this one. It is titanium. And again, this is in the sample. So there's going to be some kind of slight uh, imperfection. But again, you can tell by looking at the watch uh, that these, you know, these, uh, we're talking very, very minor imperfections on these, but they were to the point we couldn't sell them as new. So you get the chance to have a great price. Uh, again, if you want to take an additional 10% off, that is SAM10 or SAM10TAW at R2AWatches.com is where you're going to buy the watch. The next one, we have a lot of Expedition North Poles in the samples. This is the dual time with the Swiss Ronda uh, movement in it, uh, dual time movement. And this has the black PVD, that beautiful blue dial on it. This is also from the Expedition North Pole collection. And I'm not going to belabor this because we've talked about a lot of Expedition North Poles. And we have yet another one coming. Um, so let's see, what's this one? This has got B and H35, right? Yeah. Oh no, this is another one of the GMTs. Okay. This is another one of the GMTs with the Ronda quartz movement in it. Um, this is the black execution. Again, some kind of slight imperfection on there. Expedition North Pole. Let's move on because we've done a lot of Expedition North Poles. Okay, here is a Gaz Limo. This is from the All Timer uh, collection. This has one of the YM multifunction movements in it. Um, so you're getting tons of functionality on this one. Let's see, I think. I just want to check and see what you got. Okay, you've got the day of the week. You've got an alarm. You've got 24-hour chronograph. Uh, and this also has the tritium tube technology. Oh, I should have brought my, well, you know, you would be able to see it. I was thinking I could show the, with the UV light and try to show you what the tritium looks like, but I doubt it would show up um, with the lights in this room. Anyway, this is got, it has the tritium tubes. They're actually sunken under the dial in this, which is something you don't see that often with tritium because this is a dress watch. Uh, the integrated leather strap. Uh, this is a beautiful timepiece at a great price on the sample uh, imperfect sale at r2awatches.com. And next, okay, this is another one of the dual time uh, Rondas, again, I'm not going to belabor this one. It's a different, if you like the dial, it's just a different dial color configuration than the other ones we looked at. You know the Expedition North Pole, so we're going to keep moving on. 
What do we have here? Okay, this is the 24 hour from the Traveler collection of, uh, of Stramansky. Stramansky Traveler watches uh, are dual time watches. Uh, this has a Vostok movement in it. It is the, oh, it's not on there. Um, that's got the Vostok movement in it. I believe it's the 2432. Um, it is the, or 2431. It is the one that has, it's a 24 hour. Now here's the important thing about this one. This is a true military timepiece with a, oh, there it is. Let's see, what is it? 2431, we have a winner. It is a 2431, 24 hour movement um, from uh, Vostok that's in this. And it is important to note that that is a true military uh, timekeeping on this. The, the hour hand only goes around once every 24 hours, uh, unlike twice on a normal 1212 uh, uh, configuration of most watches. So uh, this is a great deal on this one. Again, this is in the samples and imperfects. And next. Okay. Don't hesitate to grab this one, guys. This is, again, from the, uh, I think it was the 20, late 2015, early 2016 collection of the Expedition North Poles that had the 32 Joule Vostok movement. This is a Vostok Europe Expedition North Pole. It is a dual time. Uh, no, sorry, this is not a dual time. This is a three complication. It has a 24-hour indicator. It has the day-night indicator. And uh, it has a date. A date is a complication on a mechanical watch. This is an automatic 32 joule movement, um, 48 millimeter case. These are increasingly rare, so don't pass this one up. Okay, Lunico 2. This one has the uh, has a, a, a 6S movement from Miota in it. It is a full function chronograph on here. Again, this movement has mechanical parts and jewels. This is from the Lunico collection. Again, there's going to be some kind of minor uh, imperfection in it because of the fact that it is a sample that was used, um, again, either on the air in some kind of selling uh, situation or it was in someone's case uh, at a retailer or it, or it may have just been here that um, we discovered it had a slight imperfection. Um, and we can't sell it as new, but that savings gets on to you because it is a, a demo slash sample slash um, imperfect. Uh, the uh, Lunico uh, collection, that is a, um, what's the, what's the water resistance on this one? It should be, yeah, it's a 300 meter. So that's a 300 meter. Sometimes when they do the chronograph, when Vasak does the chronograph, it's, it's actually 200 meter. But that's the chronograph with a 300 meter. So that is well above um, professional grade dive quality specs. Um, it's got the great APVD. It has the stand-up tritium tubes, which gives you the 360-degree illumination because a lot of times, or most of the time, the tritium tubes are laying flat on the dial, which means you're hiding some of the illumination when you do that. Um, by then standing them up and putting them in these candle reflectors, uh, you get the maximum illumination from the uh, tritium tubes. Next. Okay, one more from the early uh, expedition collection from the tw from 2016, uh, late 2015, early 2016. Again, these are increasingly rare. This is that was probably the most popular with the light blue white configuration. That is a full loom dial on this. Um, it does have three complications: the 24 hours, the um, day night indicator, and the date. This has the 32 joule Vostok movement in it, made by Vostok of Chistopol, Russia, which is a different company than Vostok Europe. Again, this is going to have some kind of slight minor imperfection, price to move because of that, and this is one you want to grab while you have the chance. And Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the commercial again before we move on to the next one. What's this all about? I'm Craig Hester. I am with R2AWatches.com and the Detente Watch Group. We are the North American distributors for every watch you've seen uh, tonight and anyone we're going to be showing. Um, this is a new old stock and sample sale. Uh, we are also partnering with TalkAboutWatches.com. They're going to be making an offer to you as well if you are a member of their uh, uh, group of customers. Um, there are coupon codes for all the watches here. If you're wanting to pick up a sample, the coupon code is SAM10 or SAM10TAW if you want to support talkaboutwatches.com. And then for the new old stock, it's NOS10 or NOS10TAW if you want to support talkaboutwatches.com, meaning the second one, the, N the NOS10 
uh, is just the, the standard coupon code that we had set up. So you can save an additional 10% off of the great prices on here. The new old stock watches and these samples, most of them we only have one in stock. A lot of them may even be gone by the time we start talking about them or, you know, get, get to them in the show because we have no, no, we're not keeping up with what's selling while we're doing the show. So if it's already sold out, sorry, but um, this gives you an opportunity to get some great watches at great prices that uh, most of them are not available anywhere else anymore. Okay, now we're going to move on to the radio room. The radio room! My personal favorite because developing the radio room through Boss Up Europe was my idea, and I have uh, no problem with taking credit for that. Uh, the radio room based on the radio room clocks that are in ships, uh, which have the radio silence periods. I am not going to belabor the whole story of why it's called the radio room here in this. You can look that up. There are videos on r2awatches.com that, that tell that story. This is, uh, again, from the, the 2016 collection of Radio Room watches, the blue and white. This may very well be the last blue and white Radio Room uh, in, with the, uh, ex in existence. I mean, they're, they just, they're gone. They're impossible to find. Uh, this is on the silicone strap. This is a dual-time watch um, with the 32-jewel Vostok movement in it. Don't let that go away. Grab it. And we have an Almaz on the mesh bracelet that was designed for the Almaz. This mesh bracelet is so, so awesome. It is so thick. It is so long. If you are a guy with a big wrist and you want to make sure you're going to get, I mean, I, I'll put it this way. I would not want to meet the guy in a dark alley that would need to add links to this watch because it, this bracelet is massive. Um, they're so generous with the length on this. Uh, it's got a beautiful blue dial, black PVD on this, um, unidirectional rotating bezel. Uh, I believe this one is 20 ATM. It may be, may be 30. Let me look. It's here. Bear with me. The joy of Facebook Live. Yeah, this is 20. But again, it's very important to point out 20 ATM. That is a serious dive watch, guys. That is... Um, so you're talking about a serious, serious uh, dive watch here. Uh, this has an automatic with the NH35 from the Almaz collection. Next. Okay, one more of the gas limos on the mesh bracelet. This is, uh, for those of you who've been following R2A watches, what used to be Russia to All and is now R2A watches, you know that Christine uh, is my uh, partner and also my wife. Um, and she, this is her personal favorite from the Gaz Limo collection. She just loves that dial and that combination of the rose tone with the black. Uh, this does have the 32 jewel movement in it. It does give you the secondary time zone. Um, so uh, again, this is gonna be in the samples and imperfect. So it's gonna have something slightly wrong with it somewhere. Uh, it may, it may be nothing more than a, it may be, it may be nothing more. Yeah, I'm going to take a little water now, guys. And yes, there's absolutely no brand on my water. Uh, it says cool gear, if anybody's wondering. I, anyway, um, normally when I'm on the air doing live shows on television, I would sneak that while you're not on me. But I don't have that choice in this because there's only one camera when you're doing Facebook Live. Um, unless you do the split thing, and I don't know how people do that. Anyway, so um, it may be nothing more than a slight scratch on the case back. Um, something that makes it imperfect where we couldn't sell it is new. So that's why we lowered the prices, and we're offering you 10% off. You can, you, you can use the coupon code SAM10, or if you want to support TalkAboutWatches.com, that is SAM10TAW. All right, this next one is for the people who like rose tone. And by the way, we call it Russian red because in Russia and throughout really uh, Eastern, the Eastern Bloc countries, um, the, uh, uh, you know, we're talking about like Lithuania and uh, Latvia, Estonia, and, and, and uh, that part of the world, uh, gold is rose tone. It's not yellow. Um, in fact, you see, when you see people's wedding rings, which by the way are on their right hands, not on their left, um, when you see people's wedding rings and so forth, they're rose tone. And that's why it's this rich, deep red. Uh, if you like rose gold, this is the watch for you on that fantastic mesh bracelet. It is the dual time with that really cool white dial uh, on the uh, Gaz Limo collection from Vostok Europe. Okay. All right. I particularly like the next one. 
the the blue dial on this one is a just fabulous look. This is the rose tone case with the blue dial uh, with a 6S movement from Miyota. Um, this is the one where the, uh, the bi-complex is actually standing up vertically, um, which really makes for an interesting look on the dial. Um, this has been one of the most popular Almaz. Uh, Almaz has about a 48 millimeter case on that. It's very thick. Uh, this is a 200 meter water resistant timepiece as well, full functioning chronograph. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful timepiece. And next, uh, we have another, okay, well, I thought we showed this one earlier, but anyway, this is the Brown Expedition North Pole. Um, I think we had one in New Old Stock, and now we have one in samples. Again, uh, this is from the 2015-2016 collection of, uh, uh, by the way, if, I, if, I tend to, if we tend to blur in and out some, I apologize, it's the only way we could do this. We, want, we didn't want, we wanted you to actually be able to see me, and I feel sorry for you for that. Um, but we felt like it was a little better than just having nothing but the watch the whole time. Uh, so we kind of have to go back and forth in the focus to make this work. Um, and again, we hope to perfect this more over time. Anyway, next watch, Sturmansky Stingray with the cage, uh, with the two bars. Uh, it's important to point out that the bars on this are not removable. Um, so if you don't like the bars, you want to get one of the Stingrays that doesn't have them. If you like the bar look, which I do, um, this is a the, this is a great example from the, the Stingray collection uh, it, because it has a full loom dial. Uh, this is a 300 meter uh, water resistant, so a true professional grade quality uh, watch. The packaging on this is fabulous. Um, I don't actually have one right here, but it is fantastic packaging on the Stingray. And again, this is going to be in the Imperfect collection. And next, another radio room. This is that salmon color radio room. Again, very difficult to come by now. Uh, this is from the late 2015, early 2016 collection of radio rooms. Uh, the radio room clock you can see right behind me. I'm not going to belabor that story. It's 46 millimeter dual time with the 32 joule movement. Uh, again, it's going to be some kind of slight imperfection somewhere on the case um, or maybe a little bit of wear on the strap. And that's why it's going to be in our sample imperfect next. Another one of the Yaz Limo all timers. Uh, we talked about that earlier. This has multi functions. Uh, it's going to be a YM series movement. Uh, that's going to be a Seiko Epson movement. It's got uh, the, the inset tritium tubes. Um, this is a very much a charcoal gray dial. You have the, the day of the week, you have the 60 seconds, and you have a 24 hour chronograph. I mean, a chronograph that you can use for up to. Uh, a lap time of up to 24 hours. I, I'm not going to go through all of the um, particular functions on this. Uh, we will be on Evine later this week, actually. I'll be on Saturday, Friday night into Saturday morning at 1.30 a.m., and we will have examples of this watch on there if you want to see uh, a more detailed presentation of how you actually uh, use the movement. Um, but anyway, now next, they're keeping me going, which they should be. Uh, this is another Almaz NH35. This is on the uh, mesh bracelet as well. Uh, this is a, a big, beefy watch, the Almaz collection from Vostok Europe. Uh, this is going to be, let me see, it's going to be, yep, it's 20 ATM or 200 meters. Um, so 20 ATM, you know, it's basically what you see out there is 3 ATM, which is really nothing. It's basically just so you water splashes. 5 ATM, you could actually swim with 5 ATM. I've, I've actually gone swimming with a 5 ATM watch and it's fine. Um, then 10 ATM, then 20, then 30, and then it can even go up from there. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, when it says 10 atmospheres, that that's, that's what it's tested to. Um, but the point is that it's about the quality of construction. When you get to a 200 meter water resistant watch, you are in a true dive quality watch and that's what you've got here. So, next. Okay, this is another one of the Titanium Expeditions. Um, and this has uh, the, uh, this has got a success movement in it. Yeah, this has got one of the success movements from Miyota in it, uh, the Titanium case. And uh, it's a full function chronograph from the Expedition North Pole Collection, 48 millimeter watch. And I, one of the things I like about this particular one is I love the little pop of color on the top pusher for the chronograph. So uh, again, in our sample collection. 
a lot of Expedition North Poles in our sample this time. Okay, I think this is the last one from the 2015-2016 uh, Expedition North Pole series with the 32 Joule Vostok movement from Chitzel, Russia, different company than Vostok Europe. Movement made in this watch by Vostok, watch made by Vostok Europe, three complications, 24 hours, and then it has the uh, day-night indicator and it has a date. Um, these are almost impossible to find now. I love the blue on this one. Again, don't hesitate. This is, again, going to be in our sample collection and imperfect. So there's going to be something that's slightly imperfect about it, and that's why they're priced to move. And remember that SAM10 is your coupon code for the samples, and NOS10 is your coupon code for the new old stock. And if you want to support TalkAboutWatches.com, it is SAM10TAW or SAM10TAW. Okay, now this is the other radio room. I'm not sure if we have any more radio rooms we're going to be going over. This is the purple. This is the only purple colored watch that Vostok Europe has ever made. And I can tell you right now, it is the last purple watch that Vostok Europe will ever make. And that's not because it wasn't a popular watch and it has sold like crazy. It's just purple is not something that Vostok Europe is into doing. We kind of pushed this because we wanted to have one purple watch because they had become popular. Um, if you are, like the purple dialed watches, don't pass this up because once these are gone, they're gone. And now we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, this is a Stermansky with the 2431 movement, 24 hour military. Uh, this is from the Open Space Collection, which is really celebrating all of the great heroes of uh, Russia that uh, were cosmonauts uh, from, uh, you know, from the early era of uh, space flight. And again, this is a true military timepiece, 24 hours. Um, so it's the, the hour hand is only going to go around once every 24 hours. And next. Oh, it's the same movement. It's the 24th. Okay, guys. I really like this dial, this bronzy looking dial on this one. Um, these are getting becoming increasingly rare as well. This is arguably the most popular dial on, the, on in this collection. And this gives you a chance to own a 24 hour Stramansky at the sample uh, imperfect pricing. And next. Okay, while we're getting the next watch, I'm going to remind you that I'm Craig Hester with the Detente Watch Group. And, um, oh, we already talked about that one. We just had a couple of them. Um, I am Greg Hester with the Detente Watch Group and R2AWatches.com. And today, this is our first Facebook Live, which we have proven all the way through this, how much uh, it is totally live and um, the little goof ups that you're going to have. Um, and it's also reminded me about some of the old movements that I need to go back and refresh my memory about. Um, but I haven't, talked to, I haven't talked about them in a long time. Um, and we have coupons and so forth. And if you're a fan of talkaboutwatches.com, they are uh, participating in this. Okay, next is our first Delta T. Uh, this is a small brand um, that we started working with a little, well, I guess about a year and a half ago. Um, this is um, one of their divers. You can see it comes in this great dive case. Maybe I can pour it over here. Uh, it's really cool because it comes with a, with a, with a compass on one of these paracord uh, straps. It also comes with a, a silicone strap, and then it comes on this really great NATO. Um, this is a just a, if you like a clean, easy to read dive watch, um, th this one from Delta T is, is it should be right up your alley. It's the NH35 movement in this, so it is an automatic mechanical. Um, let me see, let's see what the AT. So see, it's got the Velcro style um, well, I was trying to get to see what the water resistance. Yeah, it's a 300 meter diver. This is a 300 meter diver. Uh, unidirectional rotating bezel. Um, this is just a nice clean, the loom on this is fabulous. So this is just a nice clean watch from Delta T. Um, Again, and this is also the, the, the same, basically the same exact watch, but just with a blue dial. Oh, and it does have an exhibition case back. Um, so you can see the movement in the back. Uh, Delta T, 300 meters, automatic, sapphire crystal on this one, guys. Um, so just a really, really nice, clean, easy to read, not too big. I think it's a 44 on that one. 
so it's not too big of a watch. They call this collection the UMI collection, U-M-I, um, and this will, uh, I like the way that it has the, uh, the protection for the crown, uh, you got the multiple straps, you've got the great packaging. So, and I think we have one more UMI. Uh, it may not be the only one, or maybe another one. This is the uh, green dial, which, um, and I put it on the paracord strap, uh, which does have a compass on it, which I just think that's really cool. And so, by the way, they handmade these paracord straps at Delta T because uh, they couldn't find what they were looking for uh, in terms of being able to buy them from some, you know, from another strap making company for the watches. So they actually handmade these. Uh, again, the UMI collection, 300 meter uh, diver. Very clean, easy to read. And what a shock. We have another Expedition North Pole. And this one also has the Vostok movement from Chistopol, Russia. The 32 Jewel decorated Vostok movement has multiple complications. 24 hour indicator, day night indicator, and the date. This is a grade A black PVD. This is the green, uh, army green, a uh, military green. Uh, they are not making this color anymore. Um, so if you like this and you want it in a Vostok movement, I can tell you right now, you will never, ever, 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 ever see this again because um, they are not making that in that configuration anymore. This is the 6S11 um, chronograph version of the Expedition North Pole. I particularly like the color combination on this one. That, that kind of, it's really hard to even say what that, that color is. It's kind of a bone, or maybe, you know, it's a, it's it's a it's a it's not quite gray. It's an unusual color, and it really works great with the black on the black PVD. And next, yeah, we're trying to move fast here, guys. Another true marine grade bronze watch from Vostok Europe. This is the Almaz. This is with the blue dial. Both of the dials on this is a blue, and there's a green in the sample uh, selections. Both of the dials on these are designed to pick up the colors as the case patinas because this is true marine grade phosphor bronze on this watch. Unidirectional rotating bezel, 200 meter water resistant uh, timepiece. Ah, and we have another Delta T. Okay, this is from the Sora collection. Uh, let me see the, let me see the, yeah, I want to show them this. First of all, one of the things I love about this is the Type BS and that. The, of, of the Sora collection by Delta T. One of the things that I love about what Delta T has done here is instead of a hang tag, they actually have a dog tag for the watch. This actually does come also with a with the little compass that you can put on the strap. It comes with three straps. It comes with this great uh, Legardo or Bund strap. Uh, it comes with the classic uh, uh, leather strap that's, that's the aviation style. And this is actually done so that when you take it off, it, it can't just flop off your wrist in case it were to come loose, um, you know, so it doesn't get in your way as a pilot. Um, really, really classic pilot uh, style um, dial on that. So that actually fits with all of our, um, uh, all of our stuff here. Yeah, so we're talking pilot watches. I'll put this back on for a minute. Yay, yes, I'm always ready to make a fool of myself to sell watches. Okay, this is the uh, the Anchar. I didn't realize we had an Anchar in this. This is the Anchar. It comes with this fantastic dive case, seriously thick, heavy duty dive case that comes with the Anchar. That is a full loom dial on that one. That's the NH35 in this one. It does have the tritium tubes. That is, let me see. And this is number 11 of 3,000, guys. So, I mean, because we're doing this as a sale of each individual watch, I can tell you that that's the one you'll get if you pick it up. Um, so that's a low number. Wow. Um, and this is a 300 meter dive watch, again, with the tritium tube technology, named for the fastest submarine in the world and the first all, all titanium case submarine. And I'm hoping we're getting towards the end. Um, next is the seven from Unique. Oh, this is such a great watch. Now, this one, a little bit different. I want to make sure it's clear. This is a sport racing watch from uh, Unique. In fact, Unique doesn't exist anymore. They changed their name. They are now Sicolia. So if you want to get one with the Unique logo uh, branded on the watch, you want to grab this. This is the seven name for the Caterham 7 uh, or Lotus 7 cars, which I always mispronounce the Caterham as I understand it. Um, 
really cool configuration with the way they did uh, the uh, crystal on this. The thing I wanted to point out is this is 5 ATM. This is not intended in any way to be a dive watch. This is a sport racing watch, so it wasn't about, uh, this one wasn't about the water resistance. This is about other things. Um, so that's another one in the Imperfects. And next we have the green dial version of the Almaz with the uh, true marine grade bronze. What makes this one different than the other ones we were looking at earlier is this one is pre-patinaed. So there was a process to turn this watch into a patina watch. I'm going to assume probably what the imperfection is on this is probably something on the case back uh, where it got smacked against something or whatever lightly and enough to cause just a little bit of imperfection where we couldn't sell it as new. And right quick, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do a commercial again. R2AWatches.com. Talkaboutwatches.com. This is a new old stock sample sale. Um, and these are, there is, you can get an additional 10% off by using the coupon code SAM10 or SAM10TAW if you want to support talkaboutwatches.com. Or um, for new old stock, it's NOS10 or NOS10TAW if you want to support talkaboutwatches.com. R2AWatches.com is where you can get all the details about it. This is an aviator. It's a really, really cool timepiece. Um, this is at the uh, this is a Swiss made watch. Aviator is now a Swiss company. Um, let me see it. Um, it does have uh, an internal rotating bezel on this. Um, everything about the dial is tied to be uh, to be um, look like instrumentation from an airplane. I guess I should put my aviator cap back on since we're talking about an aviator. This is from the MIG collection. Um, just a really, yeah, yeah, it would help if I put it on right. Just a really, really cool watch. The strap on this is phenomenal. And I believe this one comes with an additional strap. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure on that one. Um, just a really, really great look on this. And again, a, a true Swiss made watch. It's got a Ronda uh, 5040 movement in it. Next. Okay, this is the all-white Almaz. Excuse me, not well, Almaz. This is the Maria, the plane I'm holding right here. This is a model of the world's largest plane, the Maria, which means dream in Ukrainian. Um, and that was the inspiration for the watch you're looking at here. And this is the largest watch that Vostok Europe has ever made at 50 millimeters, uh, given it was named for the world's largest plane. That was part of the inspiration. Um, this is a also a true dive watch. Uh, this has the automatic NH35 in it. Um, just a really clean, beautiful uh, dial on this one. Uh, unidirectional rotating bezel. Uh, this also comes in a dive case. Please tell me we're getting close. And this is uh, the, um, the other dial on the Almaz with the, uh, with the bronze. Is this one the pre-patina? No, this is not pre patina Okay, so this has got the kind of khaki, kind of brown. I don't know what you would call that color. Uh, again, true marine grade bronze, fantastic strap on this. Uh, by the way, if you go to r2awatches.com and you want to learn more about Vostok Europe, we have a top 10 reasons to own a Vostok Europe watch or to be proud of the one you already own, which will really give you a lot of interesting details about Vostok Europe. Okay, next, before I faint. Okay, this is another one from the Maria Collection. Uh, I'm getting a little punchy here. Uh, this is an NH35. This is a true uh, dive watch. And this is also a 50 millimeter watch. And this, my personal favorite from the Maria collection, is the full loom dial option. Uh, and that is a full loom dial on this. And that again is 50 millimeters rotating bezel, true professional grade dive quality. quality comes with two straps and comes in the dive case. Again, this is from the samples and imperfect. So that's part of why I'm not spending a lot of time on detail of each watch is because we had so many to go through here, but you can find out more at r2awatches.com. And one more Almaz on that amazing mesh bracelet. And this is, if you again, if you like rose tone, grab this. It is a fantastic example of rose tone. It is from the Imperfect or Sample collection. So it's going to have some kind of minor imperfection and price to move because of it. And next is me fainting. Uh, this is the other um, 
I think this is going to be the last of the dual time uh, Expedition North Poles. This has got the Swiss uh, Ronda movement in it uh, with the dual time function. Um, and this is really, this is the only uh, watch that Bostucker makes with a Swiss movement in it. Um, so uh, again, you don't want to pass these up while you can get them at the sample and uh, imperfect pricing. And I think we're almost done. Oh, another uh, seven is, and this one's in the Sicoli, has the Sicoli name on it. They added that really cool racing stripe, uh, stripe down the dial. Um, this is the Sicoli 7. It is a really, really cool watch. I have this particular watch in my personal collection, and I enjoy it immensely. It always gets attention. Uh, this is definitely one of those, if you want a watch that's going to get attention on the wrist, grab it. This is a sport racing watch. This is not a dive watch. Important to point that out. Um, but it is a fantastic construction with interesting, uh, uh, you know, um, Ziad Sicolia, who owns the company. He is a world renowned, uh, uh, industrial designer and he's always loved watches. So one of his sidelines is his watch brand Sicolia. And then we have the all green Almaz with the vertical bi complex quartz movement in it, full function chronograph. Um, the, the extra thick, super comfortable, no break-in period strap on it, 200 meter water resistant. Uh, so it is a true professional grade dive quality watch. And, and this is the last one. And you would think I wouldn't be excited about that. I'm not actually. I enjoy doing this, but man, we did go through a lot of watches here today. This is another Delta T from the Sora collection. Again, comes with the... Uh, dog tag instead of a normal what would usually be a hang tag three straps it has the bun strap which is fantastic uh the this is actually uh, a zulu because of the way the uh, uh the keepers are configured it's a zulu not a nato comes with the uh, uh compass that you can put on it and then i really like the strap that, that it's that's on the watch it's a great strap this is from the eagle collection in the sora from Delta T, and this is a 44 millimeter watch. It's these are just really solid, great aviation uh, pilot watches. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up now, and I'm going to do my quick commercial again about what we were doing here. And once this gets through airing, I think they make it where you can watch it again if you want to. And I, if you do, Godspeed. Um, I'm Craig Hester with R2A Watches.com and the Detente Watch Group, and we have been showing uh, sample watches or, or, or imperfects that were used uh, for something else or they have some slight imperfection. Uh, and so you're getting a special deal because of that. And if you use the coupon code SAM10, you can save an additional 10%. Or if you want to support talkaboutwatches.com, that is SAM10TAW. And then the uh, new old stock, which are watches we found in our vault uh, that we haven't been made for a while, um, and are a one-of-a-kind opportunity on most of them, and you can't find them pretty much anywhere else. And the code on that is TOS10, or TOS10TAW, if you want to support talkaboutwatches.com. So thank you for those of you who stuck this out and watched this with us. Um, we did try to, I hope, uh, we had somebody answering some questions, if there were any, uh, during, as I have no idea, because I've been here doing this. Um, and uh, also be sure to like our page uh, on Facebook, r2awatches.com. And this is uh, Craig Hester. Keep watching.